We're back. Second segment of my dinner for this evening at Night News Nights. We're going to prepare some chicken flavored fried rice by Nose. Okay? You can find this at Walmart, Food City, East Ridge Food Line for a dollar. Okay? Don't buy it all up either because I buy a lot of it. And need to move my drink I'm over here. This is my Mike's Margarita. Cheers. Sit it over here close to me while I'm cooking. Okay, I guess I'll just go. Yeah, I'm gonna go to this eye. This is my favorite eye over here to cook this. I'm taking one and one fourth cup of water. I place it in my skillet over here. Okay. Then I am going to take a tablespoon of my famous peanut oil. If you don't like peanut oil or you're allergic to peanut oil, use some Crisco oil, some olive oil, or whatever kind of oil you prefer if you're allergic to peanut oil. But my favorite is peanut oil. I'm going to take a tablespoon of that and put it in my skillet for my chicken fried rice. Okay. Like Sir Charles Jones said, it's Friday. Uh, uh. I'm sucking it in. Sucking it in something like rose. <laughs> Hope everybody doing okay out there on this Friday night. Okay, we got that poppy seed chicken. I see it bubbling at the top. It's getting there. Look, smelling good. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Got a good look at it? Need a little look? Mm -hmm. You sure? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. She ain't correcting me tonight, y'all. I guess it's that, uh, that kinky drink she drinking over there. She's drinking kinky. And I'm drinking Mike's Margaritas. <laughs> I hope y'all have a tardy for the body. Because we sure are. Okay, my water is beginning to boil. Getting ready for my rice to be put over here. Turn it open. It has no artificial flavors, no colors from artificial sources. And no added MSG. This is my chicken flavored fried rice by Knowles. Okay, now my water is boiling. Placing it over in my paper. Get a little closer so they get a good look. You can even make peanut chicken fried rice. Never made that. Okay, I got to get over here and get my spoon. I need this. This is my favorite spoon. Boop, boop. If you ever watch some of them Lifetime movies, you see them beating them in the head with spoons. Boop, boop. I'm a Lifetime junkie. They be showing some interesting stuff. I tell you, they be showing all kinds of crazy stuff. I be cracking up. I'm addicted to Lifetime. I want to be on this for a Lifetime. Like I said, tonight I was a little disappointed because I found out at the last minute that YouTube has started a new thing that until you have a thousand subscribers, you can't go live. You can't stream live. And I was disappointed. But I tell you one thing, I ain't giving up, nor am I giving in. And that means I need y'all to subscribe to me, like my videos. Tonight we will be doing it video, but it will be on my Facebook page. My daughter April's gonna put it on there with her. She does she went live on her phone. But anyway, make a long story short. Okay, we're gonna cut that down on medium so it won't overcook. Well I'm gonna keep stirring it because I don't like, like I said, I don't like gummy rice. This is some good this is some good rice. If you ever bought it from the store just make sure. Sorry, I'm doing some technical difficulties over here. <laughs> well, that figures. That's my.
my daughter April over there doing something. I don't know what she's doing. What but, she, but she tried to get it on point. Yeah. There we go. Okay, she got it up and running again. But anyway, I got this on medium. Also, like I said, uh, I'm a little disappointed because uh, to find out that we couldn't go live under the circumstances until I do have a hundred subscribe. I'm not, excuse me, pardon me again. A thousand subscribers. When I think about the hundred subscribers, I think about, as I said, giving away surprise gifts. And uh, I still stand to that. But I would love to have that reach that quarter of a thousand subscribers so I will be able to continue to go live. So like I told you before, I'm not giving up nor am I giving in. I'm pushing farther. It's like a marathon. You keep keep it keep it running, and you keep it moving. So I appreciate it. All those that have supported me and continue to support me, and also each video that you do watch, which being on YouTube does not cost you one red cent. All I'm asking is each video that you watch, that you like, subscribe, and cut on your post notification and ring the bell for each one that you watch. Also, you can watch it over and over again. That accumulates time usage for me, too, to move to that standard to be able to go live. So, like I said, I'm not giving in, or nor am I giving up. This is a journey that I've chosen to take on, and I'm going to keep on moving toward that journey. So, just support me, and that's all I'm asking. I don't think that's asking too much, because it's not costing nothing to support me. I think I, I, you know, I'm a people person. I've met a lot of strangers out there. I asked them, are you on YouTube? I don't know. I don't mean knowing who they are. I just walk up to them and say, hey, you on YouTube? They'll say, no. I said, well, how about you getting on YouTube and subscribe to me because I have a cooking channel. They kind of laugh. I said, really? I love to cook. And like I said, I'm a, you know, I have been a person that loves to cook for myself because I know when I'm cooking, it's not going to cause me any type of sickness or illness because I know... That me in my own kitchen, in Daniel's Nest, I'm preparing this food for myself and my children, my grandchildren, my daughter, my friends. You know, I still plan on having mystery guests to come in occasionally. And like I said, please, just like, subscribe, cut on your post notification, and ring that bell for each video that you watch that I post. And I appreciate your support. So, we're over here with the rice, and it's looking good. Hey, come a little closer so they get a good look at how this rice looks and how long. It doesn't take nothing, no more than like 10 or 15 minutes, maybe not even that long. But this is called chicken fried rice. And this is going to be up under the casserole. You know, when you place it on the plate, what I do is I put it, put my casserole on top of it, and I get down, get down. You know, I, I, like I said, this is some good rice. If you ever saw it in the store, put the rest of that oil in there. And uh, if you ever saw it in the store, you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, I'm going to take this lid. I'm going to put it over there. And then I'm going to move it over to this eye. That way, it will uh, simmer. It will be continuously cooking, but it will be simmering. You know, I know y'all know I'm a wiper. I am a wiper. But I don't like a lot of mess because by the time I get ready to crash in that bed, I don't want to have to come in here and wash dishes or none of that. Which I don't do a lot of washing dishes anyway. I use the dishwasher. <coughs> That's the best thing to do. If you got a dishwasher, you use it. <laughs> mm. That's delicious. Well, I'm going to move this over to the side. Because now we're good. We'll cut the stove off. Still waiting on my poppy seed chicken casserole. It's getting there. Yep. Oh, it smells good. See the poppy seed chicken casserole. Poppy seed chicken casserole. All right. So now that's a finishing thing. Okay. Now we go into segment number three, and that is my. Emma Rose Summer Pie. And Lord behold, she loves this pie. And I enjoy making it. And I promise to deliver it personally to her. So we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. 